All right, I'm uh, recording again. Uh, I'm in about a few seconds. My brother Matt is going to join. We just got done with David Gaines, episode five. Man, that was awesome. Uh, I can't wait to hear from uh, from Matt. Uh, get some feedback from him. Uh, this is very new, and and there he is. Oop, there he is. There he is. He's back. I love this. I, uh, you know, it's funny the the first part of making that countdown. <laughs> I used uh, Canva. Um, I, I thought that maybe we can make our own countdown, but I, I, I did all this like a few minutes before we started. And um, so on Canva, I just made a, they have a little video of a thing. And then I was like, oh man, it's, there's no voice. There's no audio. Yeah. And then they just very easily, you can type in audio and then robot voice. And it's exactly 10 seconds. 10 9 and it like automatically syncs and then i just upload or download it and then uploaded it to Streamyard, and dude that was awesome i i just I, I love the whole countdown thing because i think it's i think it's cool when i see it as a viewer yeah but i also think it's cool because i've never done that before so um my, my marketing coach chris uses a countdown too for it and he has a little thing flash like before he does his lives and it's pretty wild because it shows up and people are like when they when people are there at the beginning, they're like, oh, it's starting 10, 9, 8. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Well, I think it, it goes to our original goal that you keep reminding me. And I appreciate that, which is stay consistent, but also get a little bit better every time. Right. So, yeah, if, uh, I think that we are getting a little bit better every time, uh, particularly with this uh, custom uh, format or the, the custom layout thing that worked out really well with uh, having David centered uh as a yeah. highlight and then the little media the media one might have been a little bit too small but then having us on the bottom um was just perfect i yeah, loved that great. yeah great. um it's good and you good told me that last week when you said oh you can just click and drag and so that's what i did just before you jumped on and i was like oh i can just i was like oh thank god i can put because it only had me as like the highlight and i was like i don't want that no 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 no, no. Yeah. And then I just I just dragged it and I was like, oh, good. There's David. You know, so <laughs> that was it cool. looked great. It looked great. Like you said, it's getting better every week. Right. Yeah. Consistency. So the audio is good. Um, the audio is good. Uh, I made a oh, the other thing that I learned how to do and this. It says it's new, but on. Uh, particularly here with StreamYard, I think I used it on here, but it gives you an opportunity to to clip it. And so I, I haven't tried oh, really? that yet That's Yeah, cool. to, uh, to take the video and it allows you to choose a clip. And then I, um, I typed into YouTube how to do that. And, uh, cause I wanted to try out the TikTok one. So what I learned about TikTok is that technically I connected the, the stream yard live event to TikTok, but it does not do it live automatically got it like it, you you have to have the actual like you have to do it on tiktok essentially yeah so but it does connect it and then i just have to physically go in there and just upload it but before i did that that's when i went to youtube and then i noticed on youtube that they are now allow you to clip it and so the one that i posted on tiktok which i guess we can post anywhere but so it shows the clip in the front instead of just a thumbnail is what you're saying yeah, it says uh, like clip it, and it said new, and so I I I had our um, it was you and I doing this. That's right. Yeah. It was last week's um, feedback session, right? And and I'll do the same here. And so I uh, I thought it was cool how uh, oh yeah we were testing the microphone. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. and uh, and I mentioned uh, May Mayono. I mentioned yeah. Mayono and. Um, and so it allows you to just drag it to the 60 seconds that you want. You can make it shorter. You can make it seven seconds, nice. but you can't make it any longer than 60 seconds. And then you just say post and it posts it up to YouTube. And, and, uh, then I can click on, uh, the playlist that I wanted to, to post it on, which mm -hmm. was the intimate conversation part where we're talking or documenting where we're, what we're doing right now. We're documenting our little journey here yeah i love it so it's cool man it's uh it i'll tell you that um it's not difficult but the the going from zero so let's say being like an amazing like clip artist and like with yeah. 
podcasting and all this stuff and like going from zero to one on anything takes that's probably the most surprising thing it takes a long time yeah but then doing it for the first time after you get to one um and i'm not talking about episodes i'm talking about like just figuring out canva like figuring out the the countdown or um the uh i heard a a cool thing that um who was it was uh norm mcdonald he was explaining rest in peace norm uh but he did a uh he you know he's norm mcdonald yeah everybody knows norm mcdonald um but he did like one of the kind of first video podcast back in like 2000 whatever it was like 2012 or something like that 13 and people were making fun of him they're like dude you're norm mcdonald what are you doing a podcast for and uh and he was a video and he goes i don't know i'm just here talking i like talking with people and uh uh one of the first uh episodes he refers to uh i hope i remember the the greek um myth uh, sisyphus i think Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the, the pushing up the rock yeah, towards uh, the mountain. And so someone said uh, that it looks like you're, you're having fun. And he goes, it's like Sisyphus P- people. He, and he, and he did, he was very serious about this. He might even put it in his book. Um, he goes, people think Sisyphus is this guy that gets crushed by the rock every single time or like falls down and like, and like he's somehow punished to be pushing up a rock his entire life. Yeah. But he said, in reality, the guy is like the happiest person on earth because he feels that it's pur- his purpose is to do that and to get it over the top of the mountain. He never actually does it, but he loves it. He loves trying and he loves doing that. And then he gets, I'm sure there's more to the story, but that really touched me because um, even going from zero to one, it's new, man. And I think the the newness of it makes me very happy. It makes me... I, happy is not even the word. Um, if it takes me, uh, so in the hotel business, it might take me like three hours to completely, you know, under say underwrite a hotel or maybe, or quickly evaluate it for, to, for purchase. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. but when I got started in 2010 doing that, it took me like three weeks, Exactly. at least three, yeah. you know, and, and I had to study and then I got pretty good at it. And, and but now I'm able to do that fairly quickly if I'm able to, um, uh, to, you know, spend the time on the focus time on it. But now think about that. Like I love it, right? I love doing it, and I love yeah. the whole process that took so long to get. And it started at three weeks, but then it then it got to two, then it got to you know blah blah blah. And so um, this is very similar. And I always give you a shout out, bro. And I'm not just saying that. You you. Doing this with you makes it happier and better for me because I just don't really love doing things on my own or alone. But also, um, you're one of your not first pieces of advice, but your most impactful piece of advice was get it started. Don't it doesn't have to be perfect. Get get it get it going. You, you don't have to. You don't have to, you don't have to get it. What is it? I got it written down. Friday. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. That's what I got. There you go. There you go. So I, for probably if like three years, I was probably trying to get it right with, particularly with Hospiamo. Yeah. And then, um, but now we have like a freaking YouTube channel. We have a, you know, the, our Thursday live events and we're doing it and we're being consistent about it. Um, and the, the time is deceivingly not as long as many might think. Yeah. It sure in the, in the beginning when I was learning, it was taking a while, but you know, uh, I'm actually going to start tracking it. So if we spend 45 minutes on Thursday from three o'clock till three forty-five, all right, yeah. that's 45 minutes of productivity. Yeah. In order to produce that, um, the time that it took the first one took, I'm going to, tr- I'm going to track it. Hours. But maybe it took 10 hours, you yeah. know, in order to coordinate with John and Chuck and, and you and, and get all that and learn how to even do a LinkedIn live event and to make sure that it would go fairly well. Yeah. Um, but then the, the the amount of time starts to get less and less. It's still, you know, a good amount of time, but I'm able to schedule it, which is really important because, you know, call it my full time 
uh, you know, responsibilities yeah. outside of this, um, including family, you know, husband, yeah. dad, business manager, owner, all that kind of stuff. Um, what I like most about it is I can actually schedule it myself. And so if I say, Hey, I got to write the time box, right? So yeah. I put it on my calendar to do it. And the first time I did, it, it took me like an hour and a half. Now it takes yeah. me 10 minutes. Yeah. And now I didn't even do it this time because I just did an agenda and that seemed to work out. Okay. Yeah. Um, just Good. trying different things. So I like that, it. you're, you're evolving over time and, and agile, they say inspect and adapt, right? So you're inspecting the process and then you're adapting it. You do it again a little differently, right? You expect yeah. to have, so you're, you're adapting, you're changing based on what you're learning. It's that fast feedback loop we talked about, right? Yep. You're 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 in the game. And you're doing. It. I think it. I think it's awesome that you love the process too, because that's what's really important for anybody, business, entrepreneur, family, whatever. You want to be loving the moment that you're in. You want to be excited about the moments that you're you're going in. Like right. the studying part, right? Yeah. Like if you want to, if you're studying for social studies and you don't care about it, then the studying kind of sucks. Exactly. And if you love math, you're studying for math and you're loving it or vice versa. Yeah. If you like the process. So I mean, Gary Vaynerchuk always talks about that, the, uh, the, how he loves the process of entrepreneurship. Like he says, my big goal is to, is to buy the jets someday. Right. He says, but I don't care about buying the jets. He says, I yeah. love moving toward that goal. Like every yep. day, having a meeting and talking to an entrepreneur, doing this stuff. He loves the 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 in the moment process, right? Moving toward where he wants to go, you know, changing people's lives, doing what he does, all that. Same thing as you just shared. You love the process of what you're doing, and the public just gets to see a little piece, which is fine. They get to see finished products and stuff, and but you loving the process all the way through is what produces such a beautiful outcome. You know, and the, the, the process is what we're, and even that, the process on how I would define it today is not how I would define it three months ago. Right. When, when, because um, how I would define it now is that we're building brand equity with, with Hospiamo, right? Yep. We're, um, and what is Hospiamo all about? And we're telling that story. We're documenting, like you said, like Gary Vaynerchuk uh, says regularly. Yep. Uh, we'll have to give him a shout out maybe on one of these clips. So thanks, Gary V. <laughs> exactly. um, you know, so in that process, we learned what the process is, if that even makes sense. Because yeah. one of my weaknesses that I'm trying to improve on is expressing verbally what the process is or what I'm doing and what I'm working on and what is Hospiamo and all these different things. And so... Yeah. Over the past three months, the process has allowed, or I should say, given me the ability, an improved ability, to be able to express it. And we're actually doing it real time yep. and yep. learning, like you said, inspecting and adapting. Uh, and adapting. Yep. And it's, uh, I think, the probably the adapting part. What we say in the hotel business is that I love about, I love it because it's different every day. You know, yep. a lot of businesses might say that, but it literally is different. You, you're you're working with different people every single day, because yep. you're 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 interacting with guests from around the world, maybe, and yep. um, and it's fascinating. And that process of adapting, um, when you with agile management, same thing. as an agile coach three four years ago, I know I've said this before, but when you said, you know, you're you're you know an agile master, scrum master, agile manager, agile coach. Yeah. And and you said, like, dude, you've been doing it. You just haven't been calling it agile. Yeah. And I started studying even what agile is. And I was like, wow, I, I have. I'm not a, a, you know, like a certified coach or anything that but but it is a mindset. And it's a mentality oh, yeah. that, that I really enjoy. And so and that's all those people that uh, that we're representing, you know, in the field. They're all doing the same thing, like Evelyn. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, bro, when when David said. I got a role uh, to another meeting we gotta we gotta wrap up all right wrap up real quick remind me to talk to you about what david said about um relational sourcing and yeah, i like that where he said and that. how i'm relating that particularly with our our network of people with hospiamo and that i relate that to acquiring hotels acquiring management companies and allowing our 
relational people that can do those things and elevating them to be able to to do all that. So um, I'm going to take some notes, but I'll send them over to you. You go on and do your thing. And uh, I forgot that we we're recording, but we are. And then I'll uh, I'll probably chop this up and I'll maybe give Gary V a shout. So all right, thanks, bro. Good. I love you. It says live on there, so maybe we did a whole nother live. It you know, it's funny. It, it's it's the, not live. Uh, it's just recording. Okay. Yeah, and I well. Yeah, it says end recording. You're right. It says end recording on the top. I get it. End recording. Oh, it so it'll. Live. Okay. Might be posted, but if that I just do it now, then it'll be live. Yeah. No, I get it. That just means that we're uh, recording. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right, bro. Good stuff, bro. All right. I'm gonna try to uh, try to learn some more. We'll get better even next week. Great, great job, man. Great job. Moving forward every week. A little better All every right. day. All right. Love you. Love See you, you later. See you soon. Bye.